This is the tallest statue in the world, the India's 60-story Statue of Unity. At a towering height of 240 meters, it proudly claims the title of the world's tallest statue. To put that into perspective, here's the size of a person in comparison. Let's compare it to some iconic landmarks from around the world. Here, you can observe the impressive height of this architectural marvel. This remarkable structure was constructed in just 46 months. And what makes it even more extraordinary is that farmers donated their used farming instruments to contribute to its creation. In this video, we will take an up-close and personal look inside the Statue of Unity. We'll delve into its history, how the statue is built, and show you the fascinating places you can explore within its towering frame. The Statue of Unity is a colossal tribute to Sardar Vallabhai Patel, India's Iron Man, who played an instrumental role in uniting the nation after gaining independence from British rule in 1947. Afterward, Sardar Vallabhai Patel helped integrate more than 562 princely states into newly independent India, creating a united and cohesive nation. The statue is located in the western part of India, in the state of Gujarat. The project was first announced in 2010 and construction started in October 2013 by an Indian company Larson and Turbo with a total construction cost of $422 million. The project took 57 months to complete, 15 months for planning, 40 months for construction, and two months for handing over by the consortium. The statue was designed by the Indian sculptor Ram V. Sutar. First, he made the initial sculpture out of clay, which was only three feet high. Next, a larger version, 18 feet tall, and would be made out of plaster. Finally, he sculpted a massive 30-foot statue. At each stage of enlargement, Ram V. Suthar would be able to further perfect the details of the statue. For the full-size version, it had to be built in pieces. Here is how the statue's outer panel is made. The 30-foot statue underwent 3D scanning, using it as a reference. Expert craftsmen then utilized these digital models as guides to create these panels using plaster. Then, these plaster panels were placed inside a container filled with casting sand and compressed. Afterward, the panel was removed and molten bronze was poured into the prepared mold. Once the bronze had cooled and solidified entirely, the mold was carefully removed these intricate bronze pieces were cast in China, embarking on a journey across the sea and the road to reach a workshop near the construction site. Now, let's shift our focus to the construction site. The construction begins with the leveling of the ground, ensuring a stable foundation for the upcoming structure. Steel rebars are strategically placed, setting the stage for a robust foundation. A solid raft foundation is then expertly laid, providing a secure base for the structure. At the center of the foundation, two reinforced cylindrical concrete cores are crafted. These cores serve as the backbone of the structure, providing strength and stability. Then, with precision and skill, steel trussing is seamlessly attached to these robust cores. These trusses form the intricate skeleton of the building, intertwining with the concrete cores to create a unified foundation for the structure to reach new heights. 
a dedicated space is carefully crafted, serving as a viewing gallery where visitors can observe the aerial view from within the statue. The steel trussing becomes the connective tissue, binding the various components together seamlessly. The transformation continues as the bronze plate envelops the entire structure, shaping it into a masterpiece sculpted by architectural ingenuity. A staggering 1,850 tons of bronze cladding come into play, a carefully orchestrated arrangement comprising 565 macro panels and 6,000 micro panels. Each panel is a testament to precision, meticulously designed and placed to contribute to the overall aesthetic and structural integrity. These two concrete towers which form the statue's legs contain elevators each. When you purchase a ticket, you have the opportunity to ascend to the chest area using the elevator. Each elevator is capable of carrying 26 people at a time, and the journey to the viewing gallery takes just over 30 seconds. The gallery is situated in the chest region of the statue, positioned at a height of 153 meters, 502 feet above the ground. Moreover, the gallery has the capacity to hold up to 200 people, providing visitors with a unique aerial perspective. The Statue of Unity is designed to ensure its stability and resistance against natural forces. A 200-ton suspended tuned mass damper was incorporated into its design. It's a massive pendulum-like device that's suspended within the statue's structure. When external forces, such as strong winds, try to sway the statue, the tuned mass damper swings in the opposite direction effectively counterbalancing and reducing the statue's movement. The Statue of Unity, an engineering marvel, pays tribute to his indomitable spirit. In essence, the Statue of Unity is more than just a statue. It's a symbol of India's unity, a marvel of engineering, and a testament to the collaborative efforts that brought it to life. It stands tall as an enduring tribute to a great leader and a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I make a new video. For more updates and suggestions, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot and I will see you next time.